Hey, what's up guys? As most of you guys know, I've been going through a process that is probably the most difficult time in my life, but I have to admit that if it wasn't for you guys, this would be a lot, lot more difficult. When I released a video about my cancer about a month ago, the outpour of support that I got from this community it was just unbelievable. It made me realize how real this YouTube community is. As a creator, when you make videos every single day and you read crazy comments or you read crazy suggestions for videos, sometimes you don't really see what characters really are behind the screen or how they'll behave in a situation such as this. And over the course of the last six weeks or so in the video that I did on this channel and on all the vlogs documenting this entire process, I've been getting the most amazing support, the most amazing comments. Along with that, top YouTubers and other influencers have been messaging me, sending me pictures, just sending me love and just showing their support as to how much they actually care about me. I've been getting packages and letters in my P.O. box, hundreds, yes, hundreds of emails every single day trying to push me forward and telling me that I'm inspiring them through being so positive about this entire process, which in turn inspires me to keep, keep going and being open about this. Being open about this process has not been easy. Documenting every single day that I go to radiation is both tiring, it becomes very stressful, it becomes very sad, depressing at times, but at the end of the day, I'm not doing it for me. I'm doing it for all those that are going through cancer, have friends going through cancer, going through treatment, have uh, had friends that went through it, just to show that, you know, no matter how difficult your life is, no matter what shit comes along, if you remain with a positive attitude and really stay optimistic, you can get through it a lot more easily. And that's what I'm trying to do, and that's what I have been doing. Don't get me wrong, it's not all yays, yays, yays. Of course, I don't feel good about myself many times or, or I, felt, I felt very fatigued during this process. Uh, as I'm shooting this video, I have two more days left of treatment. There are days where I just feel like I'm just super, super tired and all I want to do is sleep. There's hair on my body that is just falling out where radiation is taking place. And it's just part of the process, but it's also sometimes not so easy to handle mentally. Now before continuing, I wanted to take a second just to quickly explain the whole process and how this all unfolded. When I had surgery the first time, uh, last year at this time, I had one testicle removed. And afterwards, I had CT scans to see if, any, if there were any issues with my body. And there were, was an enlarged lymph node the same place as it's enlarged right now. However, at that time, it didn't really seem like it was enlarged enough to pursue radiation. In fact, they did pictures a few weeks later and they saw that there was no change in size in that lymph node. Therefore, they put me on active surveillance and that was that. They're not gonna prescribe radiation or chemotherapy to something that they're not sure is cancer, to something that they're not sure that they need to treat. And so, I was put on active surveillance. After being very proactive with my blood work and doing it on a, on a regular basis, discovered there was something off in my blood work, and as a result, there was enlargement of those lymph nodes in the exact same spot. And so, here I am, doing radiation, getting rid of it, hopefully once and for all. It is unfortunate that there are individuals that will take this situation to further their own agenda. But I expected it from them. And as you can see, I still have a smile on my face. Why? Because I still have the support of millions of people. I still have the support from so many friends and family. I have so many friends that I've met through YouTube that are truly real friends that would do anything. If I, if I needed support in this kind of situation, they would fly here and help me out. They would do whatever it takes to, to help me out to make sure that I am in a good place. And that, my friends, is real. And that's why I say this community is real. It's fun to laugh at videos, enjoy them, sometimes make some silly comments in the description. But when things get serious, this community comes together. Comes together as one. And that's what I love about it. That's what I love about YouTube. I could have easily been doing something else. I got my master's in engineering, but 
I fell in love with this YouTube community. I fell in love with the fact that I can create the content that I want to create and put it on YouTube for others to enjoy. I'm blessed to be a part of this community and I just want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for that. As part of a thank you for your support, Furious Apparel is going to be running one of the coolest sales at the end of next week to thank you for the support that you guys show day in and day out. As well, my agenda is going to include a lot of fundraising for cancer research and awareness. What I want to say is one of the most important things is creating awareness, especially with what I experienced, testicular cancer. There's been so many, so many people that have emailed me that think they have an issue, but they're too embarrassed and shy to go seek help. I want to change that. I want to make sure everyone just goes to get help when they can. I feel like it's my responsibility to help in this world in these situations. I feel like it's since I, I went through this, since I had this help through you guys, through this community, I want to return the favor. I want to help as well. And so that's what I'm going to be doing. So you're going to be seeing a lot of that. So that's something I'll be doing, but this video is about you guys. And I wanted to just thank you guys for, for keeping it real, for being here, for truly being an amazing community on this channel and outside of this channel. And thank you for not letting me go through this alone. You guys have truly inspired me and motivated me and, and really kept me positive throughout this. For that, I'm forever grateful. And I look forward to making tons more content for you guys. We'll catch you guys later on Furious P. Dedicated for life. D4L. Team Furious. And of course, fuck cancer. Oh, check that out. Wow. Oh, that just looks fantastic. Wow. Look at that. Here I come, so you better break north as I slide the whole thing right back and forth. I get nothing that you and that's crazy. Well, it isn't the end, get the fight for me.